bubble in a 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 bubble in bubble in from the cold. That's still Fabulous. I'm just getting ready. I had to go downstairs and grab this stuff. I'm tired, y'all. Um, anyways, that's I need to work out. So I went downstairs to get my Allen Boy spices. I know y'all saw me opening it up, and I will show you guys a picture of the stuff that I made with them so far. But this is the first one, Virgin Allen. <laughs> okay, I first saw it on my cousin's page. My cousin, yeah, my cousin's page, Casey. <laughs> I think she went to school with him. I'm not sure. I think she said she went to school with him because I asked her about it. Um, but I had already ordered it anyway. But I had asked her like if she had knew who the person was, um, because I saw her sharing it. But I had already. Bought it. I'm turning on the light so you guys can see. So this one is lemon pepper. The lemon pepper seasoning. This one is. <laughs> we got used so much of this one already. I like curry chicken, y'all. This one is the paradise curry spice. Oh, I use that. That's why it's down too. I use it for curry chicken, and I use it for my um tomato tofu and some curry, and I just eat it just like that. And sew it down and eat it just like that. So I used it for that too. So that's why it's so low. And this one, Tropical Flame Jerk Spice Seasoning. It's called Tropical Flame, you guys. So, so those were the three seasons that I, seasonings that I bought from Island Boy Spices. And two of them are almost done already. <laughs> yeah, these two are almost done already. And oh, look at the color. This one you all to see too. You see that color, that nice golden brown in there? And then with the lemon pepper. You can't see this clear. Maybe I gotta shake it out for you guys to see. You see how rich that is? And the, the green in actual seasons that are in there. And then this is the jerk one. I don't like hot stuff as much, so that's why this one is a little more fuller than the rest. But it's not too bad. So... I ordered this from Island Boy. One thing I will tell you, and we were having this, this discussion. If you are used to having a lot of salt in your food, and you're not used to like actual tasting the flavor of your food, it might take some adjusting. <laughs> Let me say that, because when um, we had cooked, I forget, the first thing we had used was probably the curry powder, and I had, we had cooked the chicken, and... I asked my husband, you know, is it taste any different? He was like, yeah, it could use a little more flavor. And I'm like, what What are you talking about? But, like, his palate is so used to having, like, that saltiness and that extra stuff that's just in the other ingredients. And I'm not saying this because this is what they say on their stuff. I'm saying this because I like food and I like how stuff tastes. <laughs> so, I'm not saying it because of anything I've seen on their channel or their website or anything like that. Let me just be clear. But, um... If you are used to like a different kind of like saltiness and that stuff in your food, then you're going to be like, oh, wait, this doesn't have as much flavor as that. But you have to think about, you know, are you actually tasting the food that you're eating? Right. Because and that's probably why me and my husband, we have a different idea of, you know, if how it tastes. Like, for example, if you stop eating or drinking tea and you stop putting sugar in your tea. Like for weeks, you don't don't put any sugar in the tea that you're drinking and just taste the flavor of the tea. You know how different that is? Like try it. Just try it. Stop putting sugar in your tea for like a week and then go back and put sugar in it like after. You will taste the difference. Like you can actually taste the flavor of the tea without the sugar in it. When you're putting the sugar in there, like you are toning out the actual flavor of the tea and then that's the same thing when it comes to seasoning with some of the seasons that we use especially some of those that have so much salt in there we are like we are getting rid of the flavor of the food that we're eating and we're replacing it with you know the salt and the seasoning so i think these rest these um 
seasonings are saying recipes these seasonings are actually allowing you to taste your food taste what it is that you're eating without overpowering it with salt and overpowering it with um the preservatives and stuff that are in regular seasonings so that's my spiel on this <laughs> uh you guys can tell me how you feel when you taste it yourself um but i just wanted to say that mention that for people who might be like oh wait it ain't got no taste it does have taste but if you're so used to tasting stuff that are like salted down and just has all the extra stuff in there you might not taste it the first time so then try it again and you try it again and you try it again and then you'll see that you're tasting the flavor of the food a lot better all right so i'm gonna get off my spiel on that <laughs> When you order, just so you know, when you order, and I don't remember if it was a pop-up, just like I was mentioning in the Glamazzini one, I don't remember if it was a pop-up or what, or if it was on the page. But if you order, when you order for the first time, you will get a bottle free when you order. And I didn't realize that until like I was checking out and it was like, hey, you want to get a free, um, a free bottle, sign up for, I think it was like their email list or whatever. And I signed up. And immediately they give you the code. Now, what I thought was that they were just going to throw in an extra bottle of whatever flavor that they thought that, you know, um, a customer would like. But you actually get to pick what your free flavor is. And they're not throwing in like a sample size bottle. You get an actual full size bottle. Like, so your free extra um, season is a full size bottle. They're not showing any sample size. So... Just when you're checking out, if you go to that site and you're checking out, remember you can get a free bottle. Um, and of course, you know me. Um, I'm just I since they were giving a free bottle, I went and I added another one to my bottle because I had picked up. <laughs> so what I will say is, you guys make sure that you go out there and support this Island Boy Spices. When I ordered, it did not take very long to come. But again, like I always say, I'm in the states, so if you're ordering and you're in the islands, it might take a little bit longer. I don't know. But it didn't take about a week to get here. It didn't take long at all to get here. Um, what I will say, what I wish they would do. So if Island Boy Spices, if you guys are watching this video, if you guys are listening, what I would want you to do. Because see, like these two are almost running out. Um, but this one isn't. Like if you have like a reminder service or something that be like... I don't know how long how long does it, how long does the bottle of seasoning last in you guys' house? I don't know how long about the season lasts. But if you have like a reminder email that says, you know, you ordered your lemon pepper seasoning XYZ weeks ago, is it time for a new bottle? And then it sends it as a reminder to order a new bottle. And here's why I say that. I say that because I know me, right? <laughs> and I know if this seasoning done and I'm in the store, I'm just gonna buy another seasoning, right? And I'm not gonna buy like a 10 pack um like a big pack of 10 cases or a case of seasoning just to have it sitting down because i rather seasoning especially these because they're actually fresh i rather season that's fresh so i'm not gonna order like a whole case to just have it sitting down there and getting old and then losing its flavor so what i think that they should do um if they're listing or if you're in a business that has like something like this where you know it's a re something that's going to be a repeat order for customers and this is my business hat <laughs> coming on um because i also have um another business where i talk about another channel that i talk about business stuff for my business um i'll leave a link below i'm not gonna even go into it i'll leave a link below but this is just my business hat coming on right if i am running out it will be good to have somebody say hey you know you ordered this let's say six months you will you have a bottle of season for six months hey you ordered a bottle of my lemon pepper season six months ago is it time for a new bottle so, like an email reminder going out to your customer saying, hey, you know, it looks like you may be running out. It's time to order. Because I know me, and I know if my season were not and I'm in the grocery store, I'm going to pick up what's in the grocery store because I'm not going to eat unseasoned food. And I'm, I know I'm going to have to wait maybe a week or so to get this, right? Um, but as a reminder to me, if you send me an email and be like, oh, yeah, you're almost running out. It's time for you to order a new batch. I'm going to just order it because you send it and I know I'm running out, right? Versus, you know, if it's running out and I'm in the store, I'm just going to grab it. So that's the other thing that we need to do. Let me say that. That's the other thing that we, VI people all over the world, Caribbean people need to do. Share their page, like their page, order from them if you feel so inclined because we need to get these bad boys in the store so that your girl don't have to remember, oh, I have to go online to order some seasoning because we got a seasoning, right? 
<laughs> so y'all help me out by helping them out and let's see if we can get these in the store so i can just go to the because there's a caribbean section in Publix and in kroger there's a caribbean section let's get these in the caribbean sections in the store so that we can just go to the store and grab it and pick it up right so what we're going to do with our support your own family we are going to like their page share their page make sure you share it with a friend tell a friend and then tell another friend right and order if you feel so inclined try them out because it's really good um there are so many more flavors that i haven't tried yet there are a lot of rubs um i don't remember the flavors of the rub but they have some rubs i guess you can use like if you're going on the grill and stuff like that i didn't order those because you know it's it's about to be like it's going into like the cold season so i'm not gonna be outside grilling that much so probably when summertime comes back around i will try the rubs so that'll be like next year so maybe i'll do like a part two of the island boy flavor in um sorry island boy spices in season two with the rubs when it's summertime again um so you guys make sure you share like support if you feel so inclined, buy because we're out here supporting not only because we can do and be so much better when we support our own, you guys. So it's Island Boy Spices for the win. <laughs> Let's get these in the stores. All right, you guys. Make sure you come back and watch the other ep the next episode of Support Your Own Series. If you missed the episode, go back and watch this season and season one. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.